Five years ago, southeastern Wisconsin was grieving a tragic mass shooting at a Sikh temple in Oak Creek. Six people there were killed and four others injured before the suspect then turned the gun on himself. Who do you lean on when an entire city or a community faces such a casualty in a crisis like this? So joining us live this afternoon is WTMJ radio host and former mayor of Oak Creek, Steve Scafidi, to help answer that question. Uh, Steve, there was no handbook for you to uh, guide you through this situation. You have since wrote a book about those moments. Uh, you got some important calls that day, that time period, from the president himself, Obama at that time. But people want to know, what can I do now? What did you need in those first 24 to 48 hours? when people say, what can I do? You need people to pull together and to kind of listen what we're telling you. And as, as a former mayor and as a leader, you, you need the, the community's help. Sure. What you can do in the short term, you can donate blood. I saw a great story last night. Uh, Representative Scalise used 25 pints of blood when they were trying to save his life. One, one person. person. <laughs> Here we're talking about 520 or more yeah. that are injured. Donate blood, and that goes year round. Always need it. The other thing is, if there's a, a, a legitimate page to donate for the families. Yeah, you see gun GoFundMe sites. And Do things. that. If it's legitimate, certainly help the families out. These families are going to be struggling with this for a long time. Help them out. Let's talk about the emotional scars. When you saw this on the headlines, did it did it bring trauma back to that day for you? You absolutely can never forget it. It takes me back. Whenever something like this happens, I think about August 5th, 2012, what it meant for me, how it affected our community. This is a big story. What kind of country do we want to live in? Mm -hmm. One that has just accepts these kind of things or do we want to do something about it? So you talk about that emotion of trauma and you said what people can do in the first 24, 48 hours, but that doesn't end there. There's the week, the month, the mm -hmm. one year. You have sort of a walk that goes on every one year after. Mm -hmm. So how important are those types of things to sort of remember those who die, but not the event itself? We're not celebrating the tragedy. Yeah. Every year when we come together, we're talking about how we can go forward. And one of the things, one of the ways you can go forward is communication, understanding each other, understanding issues with mental illness and some of the other things that result in these kind of shootings. We don't know what happened today. We don't know why this person did this. Right. Well, the story will come out. You have to understand each other before you can have a better society. I think that's, we're, we're making progress, but it's slow progress. And then how do you go forward as far as logistics, legislation, uh, ordinances, working that, that arm of the tragedy? Because people are gonna start talking about that after we've realized what has happened. It's such a hot button issue, guns, no. gun violence. If you focus on the gun violence, you'll get somewhere. Talking about gun, gun control will stop the conversation. Talk about gun violence, how much it costs us in law enforcement, in human lives. Talk about something you can do together to make that go away, at least reduce it. That's where progress can be made. You gotta get off the hot button topic of gun control because we have a second amendment. That's the rule of law. That's not gonna change. I know you talked about it on the radio today. Do you expect to reach out to the mayor of Las Vegas and just talk to him? What I do is usually just send a note and just say, hey, thinking about you, I've done it all through the last five wow. years. And often they'll, they'll write back weeks later saying, hey, thanks for thinking of me, because lots of folks did that to me when we suffered the tragedy in Oak Creek, and I'll never forget and that. And you look back at those notes for strength, I'm sure. I have a couple big bound books that have all the letters that people sent me, not just leaders, but people around the world. I still have those books. Wow. Steve, thank you very much for coming and thanks sharing for your me story.